And San Francisco has certainly been stepping up its efforts to put its best face forward. And that includes clearing out homeless encampments in areas around the conference. Our Leslie Gooden looked into where the unhoused are going and what is being done to get them help. Apex is just two days away and many people in the city are getting ready for it. But some advocacy groups say that the unhoused individuals who live in a security zone are being mistreated and they say the city is not doing enough. I spoke with one unhoused individual who says he was pushed out of that security zone. Yeah, they've came. This is the third time they came and kicked us out. And then they wouldn't let us put our tents back up this time. Michael Hudson has been living near Market Street and 12th for the past few months and says he just found out about the APEC conference. What do you think about the president coming? It don't, it don't affect me either way, man. He ain't doing nothing for me. He says he was forced to leave where he's been living and in the process lost many of his belongings. I threw it on all, all the trash he's thrown in the back of a big box truck and then they take it and haul it off somewhere. They're supposed to keep it for us is what it said on the paper they gave us, but when I asked about it, nobody could find any of my stuff. Michael tells me he footage. wished the city did more to help. So all they're doing is harassing us more off, not more because he's coming, you know? They're, they're coming out here, they're arresting people. And the Coalition on Homelessness says more assistance should be available for unhoused neighbors living in the security zone for Apex. Um, we've been pushing um, to have them open up more resources. And what we've seen is that they've, um, the main shelter that people can just walk up and get um, at Dolores Street, they're not letting people sleep there and they're gonna only have it for um, folks that are referred out of the APEC zone to sleep there. Jennifer says they got word about the Dolores shelter plan on Wednesday. We'd like to see the city add some beds, um, you know, maybe give some hotel rooms or um, do a shelter in a church, um, but add capacity to offset some of the displacement that folks are facing. We did reach out to the city for comment about these concerns and we're told in an email that the Department of Homelessness and Supportive Housing is not opening any special shelter capacity for APEC. And they stated that the Department of Homelessness and Supportive Housing does already have some recently funded locations available, such as the Interfaith Winter Shelter, and they will have 300 additional beds that should be available between November and December at three additional adult shelters. And for Michael, he's not sure where he will sleep the rest of the week. They're packing a scene like rats over here. And then, uh, but all I got, I'm just using that as a place to keep my stuff. So now I come out here and I still stay out here because okay. I don't want to live there. I'm not going to live in a little dorm where everybody's sick, coughing on everybody and stuff. Leslie mentioned an overnight winter shelter that was already in the works. It's set to open tomorrow at Natoma and 8th Streets with 30 spots available.